LSAT reading comprehension strategies. It's probably fair to say that 80% of the work you'll do in law school revolves around reading long, dry, and oftentimes confusing texts. Luckily for you, you don't have to wait until law school to experience that joy because if you're prepping for the LSAT, you need to get through the reading comprehension section. The reading comp section essentially measures your ability to read and understand dense materials. Again, much like what you'll encounter in law school. It also tests critical reading and thinking skills, which are crucial for success as a lawyer and life in general. This section has four sets of questions, about five to eight questions per set, each based on a different passage. Topics can actually be interesting sometimes because they range from social sciences and humanities to natural sciences and law. Unfortunately, you're not tested on how well you know the material discussed in the passages. Reading comp questions focus on the characteristics of the passages, including things like main idea, information or ideas that can be inferred, passage organization or structure, or the author's attitude. Now, this might sound like reading comp sections in other standardized tests you've taken, like the SAT or the ACT. You might even be tempted to skip prepping for this section and instead devote more time to logical reasoning. Don't do that point blank. Reading comp is a significant part of your LSAT score, and it requires as much strategy as logical reasoning. And speaking of strategy, let's get into some general good habits to implement while working through reading comp passages. Now, many of us struggle with distinguishing important details from unimportant ones, especially under time pressure. Here's a method that can help you focus on what really matters when reading an RC passage. First, read the passage in passage-only view. This helps you focus on just the passage without being distracted by the questions yet. Next, write a short description of each paragraph on your scratch paper. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're testing remotely or in a test center, either way, you'll get to use scratch paper during the test. Use them to number each paragraph and write a brief description of what that paragraph is about. This shouldn't be longer than a sentence. Think of it as making a title or a header for each paragraph. These are called tags. Tags can work like a table of contents, helping you quickly locate details and understand the passage's structure. Next, for underlining, focus on words and phrases that express the author's attitude. The author's perspective is crucial, so underline strong adjectives or adverbs. Some examples include saying something is interesting, compelling beyond a doubt, notable, or seems odd. Underline common conclusion indicators too. These are words like thus, clearly, so, and however. Finally, what should you highlight? Highlight secondary structures and definitions. Secondary structures are rhetorical devices like cause and effect, examples, lists, and question and answers. Highlighting these will help you grasp the passage's argument more effectively. The next time you're doing some reading comp practice or taking a practice test, try incorporating these strategies and comment below to let us know if they helped. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing these skills. If you want more free LSAT prep resources, check the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more LSAT and law school admissions advice.